this is a material just like concrete. And for some of you, perhaps most of you, this is a grey and dull material. Now, you're not alone. Think about Elon Musk. Instead of sending, and let's quote him, an extremely boring grey concrete payload to outer space, he would rather send something more unusual, more fun. So he decided to mount a fancy red Tesla on his Falcon Heavy for a journey to outer space and Mars. And he was partly right. It's grey, that's for sure. But being a researcher and civil engineer at Ghent University, I can tell you, it's not boring at all. It's a very versatile material, a very interesting material with even some magical properties. And it's extremely strong. That's why it's the most used construction material in the world. It's a spine in skyscrapers, the span in bridges, the bulk in dams, roads and tunnel works. And this little piece here can easily bear the weight of a fancy red Tesla. But when we are strolling in a big city, we often look at concrete structures and then we notice that it's all cracked. And that gives us a really unsafe feeling. And it's also very dangerous. Potential harmful substances may start to penetrate the crack and they will start to destroy the concrete from inside. So if we have cracks, the cracks will become larger. Big pieces may also fall down. And that was the case in the tunnels in Brussels a couple of months ago. And it really damaged a lot of cars. And we all know that all those tunnels needed to be closed for repair works and for safety precautions. So it was not that interesting at all. And if you wait too long, the cost would even rise sky high. So the cost for our economy is way too high. And also, when you want to build a structure in your house and you're using concrete, the last thing you want to see is concrete cracking. Now, wouldn't it be interesting that concrete could heal itself quickly, efficiently, and also to regain its complete mechanical properties? And wouldn't it be interesting that concrete would do that without us intervening, without our, us doing anything? Think about us humans. Isn't it great that our body is able to heal a broken bone quickly, efficiently, and also to completely regain its properties? I remember once when I was a child, I accidentally cut my hand. And I was amazed and baffled by the fact, well, actually I was the only one who was amazed and baffled. My parents were not that happy after all. But I was amazed and baffled by the fact that our body was able to heal itself so quickly. Now, what about concrete? Can it heal itself? Yes, it can. But most answers I get are like, you're kidding us. This is science fiction. But it's not science fiction, it's already reality. Concrete is already able to heal itself. Now, I want to explain you how we can efficiently use this, because every concrete produced on the globe is able to heal itself, but it's not properly used. So I'm going to tell you how. But for that, let me first explain you something about concrete. If you have aggregates, sand, cement and water, and you mix them together in certain quantities, you will get concrete. Now, it's the cement and water which glues everything together and gives the material its strength. But consider this. Not all cement will have come into contact with water, and it will still be waiting in the concrete for water to re-enter the structure and to further react. And also, the products which are formed in concrete, they can react to something else also closing down cracks, so we can have healing in concrete. So what I did was, I added even more cement, I added some other materials and I reduced the amount of water. So I really had a lot of building blocks present in my concrete. So the job wasn't that hard after all, was it? Well, that's not entirely the case. Consider this, if we would cut ourselves, and we cut ourselves deeply, our body would also not be able to heal itself completely. So if we have a crack, in concrete, which is quite wide, and if we have healing, the crack may close, but not completely. So what's the point of using self-healing concrete? But if we have a narrow crack, and if we have healing, the crack can completely be closed. So instead of one big crack, we want to have multiple small cracks in concrete. And that's reached by mixing in these little fellows over here. These are synthetic microfibers. They are as thin as your own human hair. They are a couple of millimeters in length and they are evenly and randomly distributed in the concrete, because we place them there from the beginning. 
Now, when concrete cracks, what happens? If you would put your fingers like this and you would start pulling, you would also feel some friction. So this will be the concrete crack, and the fibers will bridge the crack. They will become active. And all the forces will be distributed over that crack, and the crack will be stopped. So the concrete will think that it's not cracked after all. So it wants to crack somewhere else. But again, fibers will be active over there, and it will also stop the crack. And the concrete will crack somewhere else, where again fibers will become active. So instead of one big crack, we will have small, multiple cracks. And that's already one step in the right direction. Now, on the other hand, when we would cut ourselves, we would start to bleed. And blood for us humans is like water for concrete. So we need to get water into concrete. And that's reached by mixing in this, this white powder. Now, by the way, I don't need to mention how fun it is to get this amateurishly packed bag of white powder to customs at the airport. <laughs> but I never had any problems. But the passengers on the left and on, to, on the left and to the right of me, they always take a step backwards or sideways when I suddenly put a very big bag of amateurishly packed bag of white powder on the conveyor belt. And then they're always pointing like, look at that guy, he's smuggling drugs. <laughs> but I never had any kind of problem. But this is a very interesting material. And I want to perform a small test for you to show you its potential. So I have an empty cup over here, and I'm going to put the white powder into the cup. Just like this. And I also have a cup filled completely with water. Now, I already told you it's a very interesting material, just I'm just going to perform the test to see what's going to happen. So I'm going to pour the water into the cup on the left. And now what's happening, those powders, they start to absorb water. And quite interestingly, they will also retain the water. So this is very, very interesting material, because in this way we can get water into concrete. And it retains the water for sure for a quite long period of time. Now, what happens in concrete when we mix everything together? We have our aggregates, sand, cement, water, the fibers, and those polymers over there, they will also start to absorb. Now, these polymers, they are called superabsorbent polymers. It's quite a long and fancy word for a material which can absorb water up to a thousand times its own weight and to retain it like a sponge. They are already found in diapers in babies, for babies, so you can really say I started this research from the bottoms up. <laughs> but this material is very interesting because it can swell, it can retain water, and that's used in concrete as well. So like I already told you, it's in concrete, it's already swollen because it takes up part of the mixing water, but then it shrinks back again, and it's dry, and it's waiting till we have a crack. And if we have a crack, then we can also visualize the superabsorbent polymers. So if we have water inside a crack, the superabsorbent polymers also want to expand, they want to seal a crack. And if we perform another test, if we just put water on cracked specimens, then we can clearly see in a cracked reference sample that the water is running through it. But in the right hand side, you can see a specimen with superabsorbent polymers. And quite interestingly, no water is penetrating the structure anymore, because the polymers, they are physically blocking the crack from intruding fluids. And in that way, we already have a self-sealing concrete. So not self-healing, but self-sealing, because we have a regain in water tightness. Now, this water can also be used to trigger healing, because like I already told you, we have sufficient building blocks, we have narrow cracks, we also now have water. So at some distinct locations where we have sufficient building blocks, there will be a reaction, either by the cement or by the already formed products, and those will start to stitch up a crack. And this process will continue till we get the complete healing of a crack. Now, what is also very interesting, those polymers, they can absorb moisture as well. So even in this room, if we would just put it here, they would also start to absorb moisture. So even in this room, or in your own house, you would already have partial healing as well. But of course, one can argue whether or not it's nice to have this kind of healing, because it doesn't mean that if the crack is completely closed, that you also would have a regain in mechanical properties. Now, I can tell you, we have. 
In our laboratory, we are having specimens which can regain up to 100% its initial strength. So that's not that bad after all, is it? Because even though it's cracked, it can heal itself, and it can regain the properties as if nothing ever happened. So we have a complete healing of the structure. And this is very interesting. Now, by using this material, we can also reduce repair costs. We can also reduce maintenance costs, because we do not need to repair it. And in that way, we can expand our opportunities in the building sector. So it's a very promising future for this material. So Elon Musk, in case you're watching, <laughs> look beyond the gray and concrete. It's not as boring as you think it would be. So look beyond the gray and concrete. Let it amaze you by its versatile and intriguing properties. It's even magical with self-healing properties. And in that way, we keep reinventing concrete all the time. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a moonshot idea worth spreading. Thank you very much.